Hi everybody, Lori here for Honeybee Stamps. Thank you so much for joining me today. I've got a colorful ocean themed project to share with you using products from the latest Perfect Day release. I'm gonna be starting with this new Ocean Circlescape Honeycut. It's one die, but it packs an ocean punch. And so what I'm gonna do here is also take out another new Honeycut set, which is the Circlescapes Shaker Frames. I'm kind of using it in, not in the way it was intended. I'm going to just take a circle die that is slightly smaller than my ocean circlescape and create a little bit of a backer die that I can adhere all the pieces to. Then I went rummaging through my solid color cardstock and I'm going to cut each one of these waves in different shades of aqua and teal cardstock. And so as you can see, there are five I believe five little waves. If you didn't have all these colors, these are a bunch of different brands, by the way. Some of it's Concord Ninth. Some of it might be Paper Tray Ink, maybe Simon's Stamp. I just hoard it all, and I like to use it in projects like this when you need a bunch of different shades. But if you don't have a bunch of different shades, you could definitely ink blend those waves. You could color them with Copics. A lot of different ways to add color. Now for the sun, I got a little piece of yellow cardstock for the middle. And then for the rest of the like sunrise, sunset, whatever that is, I used a lighter shade of yellow. And you can see when you die cut it, it gets those beautiful embossed lines in the sun rays. Now I felt like all these die cuts needed a little bit of zhuzhing. You know when it needs something but you don't know what it needs? That's called zhuzhing. Okay, so... I thought I'd add a little blending, give it a little gradient love. So I pulled out some positively saturated inks in Sunbeam and Citrine, and that just gave it a little gradient love. So why not, while you're on a roll, just give gradient love to all the things. So I added just a little bit of that Citrine to the side of the sun. That really kind of ties in the colors. It really does. It just kind of brings it all together. And then I thought, why not do a little bit on the waves? Not that you need to. This is totally optional. But, um, you know, sometimes when you start zhuzhing, you can't stop is what it is. So I put some tape runner on some scratch cardstock. I'm temporarily adhering these waves together so I can add a little ink blending. I pulled out surf ink and um, I'm going to do just a stripe down the middle. I don't know what I was thinking because I think technically I probably should have added blending a little bit on each end and let the middle be the lightest. But yeah, I didn't think of that until now. I was thinking somehow there might be a dark bit down the middle. You know what? Don't ask me. Sometimes you don't know why you do the things you do. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is adhere all of these pieces onto that circle die cut backer. I'm going to start with that darkest wave and work my way up. That way I know all the pieces have room, something to stick to because that backer is smaller and I want to make sure that smallest little wave, you know, had something to stick onto. If you follow me okay so popping on those leaves leaves what am i talking about waves holy smokes okay then we got the sun the sun rays and then we got the little sun popping it in the middle so easy peasy really fun to do okay now to make a card i trimmed a panel of cardstock white cardstock to four and three fourths by four and three fourths i took the largest open circle from that circle scapes shaker frames honey cut set i die cut a window opening now i'm going to put foam tape on the back this is where you actually could make a shaker if you wanted i'm not going to make a shaker i want to keep it simple but i did use those pre-cut foam strips love those by waffle flower crafts and i'm popping this up onto an ivory card base and then again a lot of a lot of dimension uh, oh that was a new jingle you heard it here first. <laughs> okay, for a sentiment, this is a gorgeous new. Foil script wishes, hot foil plates, and the coordinating honey cuts. I'm going to die cut this love you in gold onto some white cardstock. Well, let me tell you something. I'll be honest with you. I struggle with foiling. Sometimes I do not get the results that I desire. But I've noticed if I use good white cardstock, lately I've been using this Wow, and good foil that's meant for the Spellbinders foil machine, and then tape it down so it doesn't shimmy and shift, I, things are looking up, people. Things are looking up. I don't know what 
And let me tell you, it foiled like butter. Don't really know what foiling like butter, but hey, when you can't think of a better way to explain it, you just say it did it like butter. Okay, I'm using the coordinating honey cut with my cute little bitty buzz cutter. I love that little handy thing. I just keep it out onto the side and when I have things that are small enough, I love to use it. So there you have this little foiled die cut sentiment. And here's the other thing I love. The packaging shows you right where to put your dies back on. It's a little it's the little things people that bring the most joy. Okay, popping this up right in the center. And then for a little embellishment, I'm using these they're always so hard for me to say. Aurora Borealis gem stickers. And they're like kind of iridescent and they give you that ocean sunset vibe. And hey, little foiled love you can never go wrong. I hope you enjoyed this video, sending you some sunset hugs. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.